Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today, I've decided to do a side dish. This is something that could be a Thanksgiving side dish if you want to put a little twist on things. I'm going to make an eggplant casserole with zucchini, yellow tomatoes, fresh mozzarella. If you watch my video, you can see how to do it yourself. And we're going to hold it all together with barbecue sauce, fresh Asiago, what do you say I show you how to make the barbecue sauce first? I'm gonna show you how to make my barbecue sauce. I have ketchup, about a cup of ketchup, half a cup of molasses, squirt or two of hot sauce, pinch of garlic, and then we're going to season it with salt, ground cumin, and adobo spice mix, or you can get one of those barbecue spice mixes that are already made, black pepper, and white balsamic vinegar. And we're gonna take all of our spices, throw them in a bowl, and then we whip. Give it a little taste. It's almost as if I planned it. Next, we're gonna take our eggplant, we're gonna peel it, we're gonna slice it thick, and then we're gonna bread it with flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs, and we're gonna fry it. I've already taken the liberty to fry my eggplant because I wanted it to set. That way the breading doesn't fall off it while I'm making layers for this beautiful casserole. As you can see, I cut it the long way. Next, we're gonna take our zucchini, and we're gonna cut it in a bias. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil, and throw them on the grill. It's hot, hot. Just wanna, we just wanna give this a couple of seconds on each side, put a little color, colors, flavor. We're gonna season them. I think now is about the time we take it off. This way when we cook it, because this is gonna be in the middle of the casserole, we're not gonna have these raw chunks of zucchini. Next, I'm gonna take slices of yellow tomato, cut off the end. So we're gonna use those in its, in its natural form. Next, I'm gonna take my disposable casserole dish and we're gonna spoon barbecue sauce on the bottom of it. Nice layer, because we don't want the eggplant to burn and we want the eggplant to absorb, the breading is gonna absorb the barbecue sauce. Then we're gonna take our eggplant and we're just gonna pop it in there, cover it all the sides. If you need to cut it so it fits, that's fine too. We're gonna take our fresh mozzarella and we're gonna layer that in there because we like that ooey gooey cheesy. Now we're gonna season it because if you don't season the middle, then it's gonna not taste like anything. So we're gonna give a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna put a layer of barbecue sauce again. I wanna keep it moist. And then we're gonna take our zucchini and we're gonna layer our zucchini into it. Doesn't have to be pretty because all this is gonna be covered. And then I'm gonna put slices of yellow tomatoes, a little more barbecue sauce, and then we're gonna finish it with our last bit of eggplant, which is gonna, which this is actually gonna be the bottom so it doesn't have to be pretty. Just has to be completely covered to hold all the sauce and the vegetables into the casserole. And then we're gonna knock it in there, press it down. We're gonna cover it with foil. As you can see, I didn't use all the barbecue sauce because I wanna use that for when we come out of the oven. We're gonna use that to put it on the top to make it look pretty. So we're gonna cover this, and we're gonna put it into a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. You might wanna put it on top of a piece of aluminum foil so that when it leaks and bubbles over, it's not making a mess in your oven. All right, my pretty, we'll see you in about 45 minutes. All right, our 45 minutes has, ding, is up. Let's check on our lasagna. Ultimately, 
you want to let this sit for about 20 minutes after you pull it out the oven because if you try to what i'm about to do flip it take it out of the container it's going to be all over the place drum roll please so first we got yeah see again this is the bottom so it doesn't really matter what that's going to look like so i'm going to take a heavier aluminum sheet and a piece of aluminum foil i'm going to put it on top of it okay let's see what happens you might have to poke a hole in it an air hole oh <laughs> Look at that bad Johnny. Now I want to take a little bit more of our barbecue sauce that we saved and we're going to glaze it. And then we're going to put our Asiago cheese on top of it. And we're going to pop it back in the oven for about five more minutes because we want to melt that cheese. That's why we're using aluminum here. We goes in and out of the oven. Okay. All right, don't leave it in there too long because we only want to melt the cheese. We don't want the thing to cook and get all over the place again. Ooh, look at that. Look at that beauty. Let's see what it looks like. Again, move the knife. Don't push through it because you don't want to break. You don't want to make it a mess. Look at that. That's what we're looking for. All right. And then we're gonna cut some slices so we can share it with our friends. Let's cut it like, let's cut it like pie. All right. Then we're gonna take our slices. There you go. Put some. We're gonna put some greens on it. This is my rendition of barbecued veggie lasagna. <laughs> 